Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, we are going to start a very brand new topic named as Calculus of Variations. So first of all, I would like to tell you what are the brilliant applications of this Calculus of Variation. So Calculus of Variation is nothing but the foundation of classical mechanics. So it is very important for the students of mechanical and civil engineering. Calculus of variation has its application in solving the boundary value problem. It is also used in the derivation of catenary of shape. Do you know what is catenary of shape? This is catenary. Okay. Then it is used in the geodesic of surfaces. Because the actual thing that we are going to do in this calculus of variation is to find out the path. And what is geodesic? Geodesic is nothing but the smallest path between two points. Like in two dimensional space, the geodesic is the, are the straight lines. And in 3D, the geodesic is nothing but, geodesic of sphere is nothing but the great circle. Like the equator of our earth. Okay, now this is also used in isoparametric problem that we are going to see later on in this unit and also it has its application in control system. It has its application in control system just to, uh, just to optimize the cost index. For example, if we have a satellite and if we have to project that satellite into a trajectory of uh, some planet or something like that then it needs certain amount of fuel so with the help of calculus of variation you can actually optimize the cost index and also you can uh, think of the amount of fuel the required to project the satellite into a particular trajectory okay so these are the some interesting applications of calculus of variation there are numerous application of this calculus of variation like it is used in uh, uh, intelligent bureaus of uh, in also in neural networks and uh, controller gains machine learning and genetic algorithm to control a dynamical system okay so it has lots of lots of important calculus of variation now i think we should uh, see uh, what what we will be dealing with in this calculus of variation so an integral of the type will be given to you and it will assume the numerical value and any integral which assumes a numerical value is nothing but a functional okay so an integral of the type this which assumes a definite value for the function of the type y equal to yx is a functional. Uh, the calculus of variation deals with the problems of finding pi is equal to yx for which the given function can be extremized. What is the meaning of extremize? Maximize or minimize. Okay. So geometrically this means that to find out the path y is equal to yx between two points x1 and x2 for which the function is maximum or minimum. Combined together we call it as extrema. Okay. Now let me tell you one thing. Uh, okay. So this type of problem has its wide application that I have already let you know the few and uh, why it is important because uh, to find the path on which the object moves from one point to another in a shortest distance in the shortest time i must say and we have seen the example of satellite okay so now i would like to take the necessary condition i would like to take the necessary condition for for the functional to be maximized or minimized or to have stationary values. So the next thing that we have is the necessary condition 
the necessary condition the necessary condition for for the integral x1 to x2 f of x y y dash dx to be to be maximize or minimize or to have or to have what or to have yes stationary value or to have stationary value or to have stationary value is is del f by del y is del f by del y minus d d x of del f by del y dash is equal to zero. So this is the necessary condition for this integral to be maximize or minimize or to have a stationary value and this equation is called this equation this equation is called Euler's equation this equation is called Euler's equation Remember this equation because this is the important equation that we are going to use throughout this unit. Now, this is the first form of this uh, Euler's equation. Now, let us see some different forms of Euler's equations. So, I will write other forms, other forms of Euler's equation other forms of Euler's equation. So let me take the second form and then the third form. So the second form is uh, d d x of del f by sorry d d x of f minus y dash into del f by del y dash minus del f by del x is equal to 0. This is the second form of Euler's equation. d d x of f minus y dash into del f by del y dash minus del f by del x equal to 0. This is the second form. We also have another form which is the third form of Euler's equation that is del f by del y minus del 2 f by del x del y dash minus y dash into del 2 f by del x del y dash it is del y del y dash it is yeah minus what is it y double dash into del 2 f by del y dash square is equal to 0. Yeah. So these are the two different forms for uh, this Euler's equation. This is the third form. So at least you must remember these uh, three forms of Euler's equation. Okay. Because on the basis of these three forms of Euler's equation, we have certain cases on this uh, f function. And with the help of that, we will have some Euler's equation. Okay, solution to the Euler's equation. So let me now introduce you to uh, different cases. Of the solution, different cases of the solution of Euler's equation. Euler's equation. So the very first form is, I will write it as, as cases. So case 1, if this f is independent of 
x when when f of x y y dash is is independent of x is independent of x what does it mean this f of x y y dash is independent of x means in this f there is no term of x if this f doesn't have any term of x then derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 0 simple del f by del x is equal to 0 then then the extremals then the extremals are given by extremals are given by del f by del x is equal to 0 so I am using second form of Euler's equation del f by del x 0 means ddx of something is 0 ddx of something is 0 means this something is constant is given by f minus y dash into del f by del y dash is equal to constant. So this is the one case that we have. Now let us take some other cases like case number 2 or 3. So let us take case 2. So I will write here case 2. So what is case 2? Now you can tell me what are the different cases you can obtain on the basis of this function. One time it is independent of x. Say second time it is independent y. When f is when f is independent independent of y. So if I am saying this f is independent of y meaning thereby del f by del y is equal to 0 and we already had one equation del f by del y minus ddx of f y dash del f by del y dash is equal to 0 so here in this case so here in this case extremals are given by extremals are given by del f by del y dash is equal to 0 so what we have 0 minus ddx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. So derivative of multiplied by minus sign will be getting ddx of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. So derivative of del f by del y dash is equal to 0. This implies del f by del y dash is equal to constant okay this is the second one now what would be the next case can you predict the next case yes one time it is independent of x second time it is independent of y third time simple yes it is independent of y dash so in case 3 you will write when when f is independent of y dash that is del f by del y dash is equal to 0. So making use of Euler's first form of Euler's equation we remain with del f by del y minus ddx of del f by del y dash is 0 equal to 0. This implies del f by del y is equal to 0. So if you have a functional where this f is uh, independent of y dash then the extremals are given by del f by del y equal to 0. That is the easiest one. And at last we have some interested thing for the last one case 4 when when f is when f is independent when f is independent 
of x and y. If f is independent of x and y both, then, then what we can say? f is independent of x, independent of y, then del f by del x, del f by del y, both is equal to 0, right? And if you make use of the third form of the Euler's equation, then extremals are given by extremals are given by what we are doing we are just taking the third form of Euler's equation so all the term will get cancelled and we remain with y double dash is equal to 0 y double dash is equal to 0 means d2y by dx square equal to 0 integrate this to get one time integration will give you dy by dx is equal to a. One more integration will give you y is equal to ax plus b. And what is this y is equal to ax plus b? This y is equal to ax plus b is the equation of straight line. Okay. And also a solution of the functional which is independent of x and y. Okay. So whenever you have a functional like y is equal to ax plus uh, sorry functional independent of x and y so you can directly think of solution of the form y is equal to ax plus b so in this learning video we have seen some of the wonderful applications of calculus of variation followed by the necessary condition for the integral to be maximized minimized or to have stationary value that is given by the euler's equation and then we have seen three forms of Euler's equation followed by four different cases of the Euler's of the solution of Euler's equation. So I hope this is clear to you and these are the things which we are going to make use of in solving the problem. Sometimes the problem will be uh, in the problem f will be a function of x alone if may be independent of y may be independent of x y okay so on the basis of that we are going to solve problem in the very next lecture so go through this once again and uh, so that you can easily solve the problems okay so thank you for watching this learning video have a good day